Hello, welcome to another video of Jazzy Geo videos. After watching the movie, I felt very strongly it's a hopeless story, totally. They really messed up the storyline, the plot, the original characters, and the theme of the movie from the original trilogy parts. Today, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite movies and basically um, the books that I read 10 years ago which were f way far more interesting and exciting and thrilling to the core than what of the movies of Star Wars that have been made today. I wish, I really do sincerely from the bottom of my heart that I wish that I did not read those books because then I would have found the movies that were made by were better but actually the books turned out to be much far prolonged soothing effect of action sequences of a typical war movie let's just get to uh, the introduction about the storybooks. It's been 10 years after Return of the Jedi since Han Solo and Princess Leia have been married and uh, they have had children together which are twins and there's a boy and there's a girl. And they are living in the Imperial City. They're living in the city of planets in the previous palace of the Emperor. At the moment the Jedi twins in the first book that I read which was part 7 they are newborns and they're just toddlers and Princess Leia has the responsibility to uh, train both of those children as Jedi The story begins with satellites placed within the palace that have been as espionage by the imperial guards of the emperor so they can track and hack anyone who is using their services. There is also the discovery of the katana fleet which is a combination of 200 star destroyers or a variation of star destroyers somewhere in the galaxy and they have been picked up by the Im remaining imperial forces that are left over from the previous wars the discovery of the katana fleet gives extra boost with a surplus of 200 star destroyers to the Imperial forces. There is a hidden remote planet in the far corners of the in one of the galaxies of where the Emperor hid his treasures of secret weapons. Now there is a custodian or a holy Jedi Knight that is protecting this planet single-handedly and there are enough weapons to destroy a universe in that planet. His name is Joris Kaboth who is also a Jedi Master. He is one of the strongest Jedis that have ever been seen 
uh, to the Imperial forces. Mara Jade has a personal vengeance against Luke Skywalker for killing the Emperor. She is constantly looking forward to fighting with Luke on one on one. She is one of the Emperor's last four royal guards. Joris Cabos has discovered a weakness within the Jedi. The Jedi are a vulnerable by useless Jedi powers not working when the Calamari are placed, a special set of creatures called the Calamari. Then any Jedi using his or her powers are deemed useless in penetration of targets. The Calamari are unique alien species with preventing Jedi powers or preventing the use of the Force. Grand Admiral Thorn, who is blue-skinned humanoid, evil Nazi-like military general, is in a remote galaxy with his own fleet of Star Destroyers and the Imperial Force. Grand Admiral Thorn has joined forces with Joris Kabod using Calamari to block Jedi powers. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks.